I'm standing here with Edwin, the winner. How are you feeling right now? You know, great. You know, put on quite a show. We got work to do, though. You know, it was a cool experience. You know, representing PFL, I feel like, hey, we got a long journey with this company. So I'm happy to be a part of it. And, you know, make a lot of money with the company and put the company name on my back. And we go, hey, we go make use of it. You know, we go put Jackson Wink, get him the whole team part of the company. So, and that's what I'm looking forward to. But you put on quite a wrestling clinic out there. It was it was really impressive. Even in the second round, what stood out to me is even when it, it looked like you got rocked out there for a little bit, but you went, you were, were you hurt or were you just going on instinct to get those seamless takedowns after that? I wouldn't say I was hurt. I feel like he, he touched me. But other than that, you know, I just kept maneuvering, you know, switching angles a little bit, let him come forward a little bit. That was the only time the guy actually came forward the whole fight. So at the end of the day, I did what I needed to do. And at the end of the day, I really wanted to finish the guy KO, TKO. And there's a lot of adjustments. So it's my first time fighting on these rule sets, like I said, you know, where I can't throw elbows. And, and uh, there's a lot of things going on at the same time. But hey, it's just another stepping stone in the right direction. We got the win, you know, but I like to dominate my opponents. And like I said, um, I think these guys were still trying to survive. And at the end of the night, I feel like everyone knew who the winner was. And um, we we're, were looking to move forward as a, um, as a team with my coach, Mr. Winklejohn, and, um, and um, Jackson Wink behind me, and, um, and um, the whole PFL company as well. So I, I feel like they're, 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 they're glad they brought me on the card, and I'm glad that they had me on the card and um, I got to meet a lot of great people you know I love Orlando it's a great place to be and I would love to fight here again but most importantly hey let's do it again let's do it again <laughs> Orlando so. loves to have you that's for sure <laughs> I, personally I love a fight like yours you, I love watching that dominance happen yeah. you know it, for some people the competitive uh, fights that are back and forth are more exciting but for me the, the clinic yeah. that you put on it was something I would have given you some 10 8 rounds at yeah. least one for I sure I feel like I feel like I was I've very definitely... surprised I that the judge didn't give you at least one. I mean, one judge gave you a 10 8 round, but I was surprised that all of them didn't give you at least one, if not two. 10 well, rounds. you know how the judges how is. You, you, know you know how to, you know, I, I, I honestly feel as if, um, you know, that's up to them. That's their choice. And at the end of the day, I feel like my job is to dominate my, my opponent and to finish my opponent. So if me leaving up to the judges, hey, that's a. That's, that's a failure in my eyes. So I need to capitalize on every opportunity that I have with this company. So, you know, next time around, I'll bring some more heat and do make some adjustments in my camp. I'm looking forward to putting on a show and finishing every opponent I have. If I don't finish these guys, I, I, I'm not really a happy camper with that. So, so I, don't, I don't like base my life based off the judges' decisions or unanimous decisions. So I look forward to finish these guys and putting them away. Reason why, because I'm capable of doing these things. So I have proven that time and time again throughout my career. So I'm not looking to pay patty cake with these guys or be friends with these guys. I'm here to do one thing, to take over the company, to kill the whole featherweight divisions, and move forward on with my life. Well, I hope you're really proud of that performance anyway. Thank you, Felicia. Nice to meet you too, likewise. Well, thank you. It's nice to meet you too. Can't wait to see you fight again. What was so interesting to me, your fight, those first, you dominate the fight. Those first two rounds, the grappling, just could he couldn't, he got you a little bit in the second. We couldn't. But the third round, I saw your whole strategy change. Yes. And it was stand-up. Yeah. And was, it, was that a sense of, okay, I dominated him grappling. Now I'm going to show how I can dominate with the stand-up. Was that yeah. the reason, the mindset? Because you could have went the third round grappling and just coasted to the win. Um, the mindset of the third round, I kind of let him come forward a little bit to see what he was offering to me. And I kind of just want to slip and step aside and dish out what I needed to dish out, you know. I still feel like I could have done more. I could have done more. Instead of thinking, I should have done more. So at the same time, I feel like, hey, I got work to do. We got work to do. And, and it doesn't start tomorrow, it's gonna start tonight. So I'm ready to put some work in, and put the time in to do a lot better job than I want to. You know, I want that bonus. You know, I want to finish all these guys. Is that you why know? you stood up and you wanted to knock them out and go that way with it, instead of just taking them down in the third round and trying to do something there? Or did you see something else? 
Because the third rounder was more I, or less I, I a stand-up. I, I definitely saw the guy, he was fatigued. I was, I was, he was definitely fatigued. I, I definitely could initiate double up on my jab, initiate fake shots, hit him with uppercuts. And at the end of that third round, I started catching him with hooks. So I started catching him with hooks, and he kept coming forward. But when I started throwing those hooks, that's when he stopped coming forward. I started to rattle him a little bit. And he thought he had hit me one good time, but at the same time, I was okay. I was still blocking, framing up, framing up. Nothing was really landing. He was just swinging wildly. So at the same time, I was just moving out this way, moving out the way. But at the same time, though, he shouldn't have had those type of opportunities. So I need to put him down. And you, that's interesting because you mentioned that you wore him out. The grappling then wore him out in yeah, the third round. Yeah, if you ever saw him after the fight, he's done. Done. So he didn't have no hope that he won at all. But that's not the point. I wanted him to leave him dead on the canvas. But we got work to do. You know, life goes forward. You got the victory. <laughs> Got the W. That's it. You know, thank you guys, PFL. You know, did what I could, but you know, we'd be back. Thank we'll be you. Back. Thank you. Thank you guys. All love.